So I'm down here at Salford City today. This is the Peninsula Stadium and I'm here to shoot the game on uh, old 35mm film. They're playing Wrexham today in League Two and I've come down just to shoot the game uh, and see what sort of stuff I can get for the club socials and for bits and pieces like that. So I'm kind of taking my position pitch side right now but I thought I'd take you around with me um, just to show you how this game's going to go and how I'm going to set myself up. This is me. This is my little position here. Uh, in terms of gear, I've got this uh, Canon F1 body with a 17mm 3.5 lens on it and this is another Canon F1 body here uh, but this one's got the power winder on the bottom of it as you can see and a big 300mm f2.8 lens uh, to get those nice close-ups uh, but in the bag here I've also got a load of other lens options I've got a 70-210 uh, to 10 just here I've got uh, my classic 55mm uh, f1.2 as well uh, and I've also got a Nimslo 3D which is a 3D film camera that I might shoot a little bit during the game and then uh, in the uh, yellow bag is all the film that I've got for today um, yeah so this is my little position and uh, fingers crossed we get some decent stuff from today obviously it's a game against Wrexham so it's quite a big game uh, Wrexham are towards the top of the table in League Two and Salford haven't had such a good season this year but you know it's a big uh, media interest game with all the uh, class of 92 being the owners of the club uh, and also obviously with Ryan and Rob owning Wrexham. Um, so I think there should be a decent bit of media interest for the game today. Um, yeah, and hoping for a good one. So this is my view and uh, I'll take you around the action as it happens and hopefully get some good photos. start players are on the pitch there I've got my um, chest mount with my phone on as well you can see that that's how I do my like POV videos and stuff uh, but here I am this is my position I'm hoping I don't get absolutely thwacked with a ball because <laughs> I have a feeling I'm going to be right in the firing line of a lot of stray shots and crosses and things or even like tackles of players falling into me but if that happens we'll have it all on camera so here we go they're just doing the coin toss now so Paul Mullin stands on the center circle ready to get us underway Salford have got a corner right now, currently running at a 500th of a second and we've got some 3200 ISO film in this, um, so 500th of a second shutter speed, the lens wide open at f2.8, corner's about to be swung in, corner's taken into the area and it's ended up in a goal! And it looks like he scored against his former team and Salford take the lead, I mean it's not even five minutes gone. Such an easy goal to score as well from the corner. Team huddle going on, but routine as that. Corner swung in from the right-hand side. It was a left-footed in-swinging corner. And the number 42 at the far post just stooped and nodded it in. And in less than five minutes, Salford have got the lead. I think I caught some of it on film, so we'll see what results I got from that just then, but incredible. It's 1-0 Salford, and that is a turn up for the books. Vassell it was with the header. So Paul Vassell puts Salford 1-0 into the lead very early on, and we have got a game on our hands. When it comes over to this near, near touch line, I have to switch lenses, because so, I'm so close to the pitch that the 300mm lens is just way too zoomed in. 
The floodlights have come on though, which is a good thing for me because we've got a bit of extra light. So in this camera right now, I've got yeah, the 70 to 210 f4 lens on and I've got some 800 ISO color film, the Mography 800 color film in this. And in the other body with the 300 mm lens, I'm rocking some Ilford Delta 3200, um, which is my favorite black and white film for shooting sports with because of that high ISO. The cell wins another head in there. Um, and I just love the look of football and black and white film. And now there's a bit of a run on down the left-hand side here for Salford. Oh, I'll miss control though. And it goes out for a goal kick. Taking some photos of the keeper and gesticulating to his defence over there. The one thing I would say about the Canon F1s is that I wish it told you how many photos you'd taken through the viewfinder. I don't know if there'd even be a way to do that with the technology that's this old, but it's slightly annoying because I don't know how many photos I've taken. And to look, I've got to tip the camera up like this, taking nine, but you're obviously then away from the action for a split second. in the penalty area here for Rexon. Tussle going on between striker and centre back. And that's a free kick. Give him there. Tilt it was, the centre back. And then the free kick. I've no idea how long, I mean it says 15 minutes according to my watch, so I'm taking it with 15 minutes in. And the rain's starting to come down a little bit, which is vexing. Great save by Conquo. Tipping it over for another corner to Salford. A bit of tussling going on at the moment. Referees having a word. And it comes. Oh, it's gone all the way in. It's gone all the way in from the corner. That is unbelievable. Salford have just scored direct from the corner. It sailed in over the top of a Conquo in goal, who looks at the floor. I can't believe that. It's 2-0 in less than 20 minutes and what a turn up for the books this is. Salford are in the bottom half of the league table and Wrexham who are chasing promotion again this year and it's 2-0 in about 16 minutes. I can't believe that. It literally went straight in from the corner, it sailed in from the left hand side, it was in swinging and it just sailed over the keeper and into the far corner. Incredible. So two, two corners and two goals. A goal direct from a corner. I've never seen that live in my life. Incredible. Annoyingly, both the goals have gone in at the opposite end to the end I'm sitting. But hopefully we've got some decent documentary shots of it. I don't think I've got the moment where either goal specifically went in. That's the pitfalls of shooting on film though. That's a really good looking ball if we can keep it in. And he can, and he's won a corner. And we know what's happened from the corner so far. Again, there's some tussling going on in the box. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be surprised if the ref gives a penalty or, or a free kick. Because he keeps stopping the play. And he has given a free kick for the tussling. And just at that very moment, this roll has been finished. I'm going to try and rewind this now before any action happens. And leave that there for a minute because they're on the attack again. Pull back. Chance of a shot. Oh, it's a really good block. We'd take a chance to swap this roll of film. I'm actually going to go for some uh, Clicker Snap 800, which in all essence is a Cine Storm 800T. It's exactly the same. It's old uh, Kodak Cine film that's been re with the Remjet removed. So we'll get the nice uh, halation off the floodlights now that they're on. So that's first roll done. I'm going to put this in my pocket. Again, Vessel's won the header. It's bobbling around in there and Wrexham can get it away. Oh, not very far though. In fact, it's a really poor clearance and he's gone down and it's a free kick right on the edge of the area. Oh, it's a heavy challenge there and it's a yellow card for Elliot Lee. So Watt is standing over the free kick. Yeah, and he goes far post, play back across. It's dropped out to the edge of the area, They're just looking to get the control of the ball, but in the end he's forced out wide. Cross goes back into the middle, it's a good one as well, far post, headed back across, and a can't worry the keeper, claimed it really well. The ball's coming right towards me here. 
Oh, it's a big tussle and it's a free kick to Wrexham in the end. James McLean is the man standing over it. Ex uh, Sunderland, I think, and West Brom. And it's a very nice position actually to whip a ball in from here. So McLean takes it since the far post. It's over hit, but hoisted back in there, and then the header comes in, and it's a goal. Well, it was a bit bobbly, and Wrexham, just before half time, are back in it. Sam Dalby, 41st minute. The free kick was over here, and then it was hooked back in. And one header led to another, and it's ended up halving the deficit. So, almost half time, and Salford have a free kick. Garbutt to take it. There it goes, headed away. And then Paul Mullin completes his header, and that's the last shot on the roll. And cleared away, cleared out the stadium actually. <laughs> and it goes. Oh, and the header came in, and actually it was a decent chance, you know. Mullins just shoved over Vassar, and it's a yellow card for him. And there is the half time whistle. So, decent half, really. 2 1 Salford. Quite a surprise score at the break, to be honest. Two goals and corners, and then halving the deficit at the end there. So a little bit of a scrappy sort of headed goal, but 2 1 at the break, and it's been a really good game. So, I've used up two, almost three rolls of film that half. So if I carry on at this rate, I would have shot about six rolls by the end of the game, I think. Anyway, I'm going to try and stay in this position, I think, for the second half, because Salford are going to be shooting towards this end. So the idea being that if they score, they're going to come and celebrate over here somewhere. And if I can catch celebrations, that'd be amazing. So we're going to stay where I am. Might have a wonder as the half goes on, but uh, so far, so good. <laughs> able to go the other side of that camera I suppose I was okay thank you thank you very much appreciate it so a free kick to Salford quite deep it's played in long good header away it's dropped to a Salford man oh and in the end it's played too heavily by Garber and out of play for a Wrexham throw and I'm actually almost at the end of this roll now as well That's the end of the roll. And just to sort of come forward as well. The roll on the camera with the wider lens is finished, so I'm going to have to skip with the film with more for now. This guy's wearing the cool new LS Pillars or something. So, corner to be taken. Tesla and going on in the six yard box. And it goes. Headed away well though. Played back out to the left hand side. This is far too close for me to see what's going on. So it's hoisted in. Headed away. Good chance of a shot, but it's played back out to the right hand side. Oh, clear chance here. It's blocked again. And in the end, Rex and clear. And it's gone out for a Rex and throw in this now. Gives me a chance to change this roll of film. <laughs> so that was a roll of clicker snap film that I've just finished there the sort of Sydney still esque film. And sort of the back on the attack here. I'm going to have to stick with the 300 mil again for now, because I've got it down the right side. And it's played out for a sort of throw. I want to load a roll of black and white into that other camera. So I'm going to prep my Alpha Delta 3200 for now. But wait until after this ball's played in. Because it's played in and it's a goal. I can't believe it. All was celebrating right in front of me and I've got the wrong lens on. This is, of course, this has happened.
switch to the 3D film camera for that. That's the only one I had with me. So we might have got some really cool 3D photos of that celebration. I don't know. Hilarious that, of course, it happened at that moment. Had to be, didn't it? Of course. <laughs> Just as I had the camera with the wider lens rollless. Of course, happened then. But it's 3 1. And it's a surprise result, really, if it stays like this, because Wrexham are far higher on the table than Salford. But they're having a bit of a new manager bounce, although straight away. No, it's alright, it's playing by the keeper. Okay, we're going to put a roll of Delta 3200 black and white film in now. Let's get this done quick. <laughs> oh, there's another bloody goal. Change the ISO on the camera as well. It's funny because this is a newer body of the F1 and the ISO does go up to 3200 on this one, but it doesn't on the other one that I've got. So I'm going to shoot it at 600. Anyway, we are back in action. Looks like Stephen Fletcher's coming on for Wrexham. A bit more goal threat. It's Dolby who's gone off. He scored the goal, actually. So throw in for Salford, deep into the Wrexham half. It's thrown in long. Goes away. So I'm actually thinking I might change lens now to the 17mm f3.5 one here because I'm going to get a bit of a different perspective of the stadium and this is like a, a super super wide lens so I'm hoping <laughs> if Salford score again that they come celebrate down here and I can actually get some shots of it. <laughs> can't believe that I didn't have film in that camera for that goal. So it was at this point that my camera decided to die. Uh, so I just shot a few more black and white photos, uh, used up the rest of the film that I had in the cameras as the rest of the game went on. It was only about 20 minutes of the game left and it finished 3-1. And uh, here are some of my favorite shots that I took during the rest of the game. Okay, there we go, full time. Uh, really good result for Salford, actually. It ends 3-1. Um, hopefully, I got some decent photos. It was so annoying because the third Salford goal went in just in front of me, but um, <laughs> I had just finished the roll of film that was in the camera with the wider lens. So I only had the 300mm f2.8, which was way too close, or the Nimslo 3D. <laughs> so I quickly, it was on here during the game, and I quickly grabbed it off the side and like snapped some photos of the celebrations on 3D film. So I've got no idea if they would have turned out okay, who knows. Um, but uh, really good game, yeah, amazing. Uh, massive result for, for Salford, considering how much further down the table they are, but the, the full-time whistle has been blown, all the press is happening now, and I am about to head home. Um, so I'm gonna send the rolls off to get processed by my friends at Analog Wonderland, who uh, do all my film for me, because they're the best. Um, so I'm gonna go and send that off, and uh, hopefully I'll have some decent results. But now I've got the three-hour drive home to Oxfordshire. Okay, now comes the loadout, I'm walking back to the car, but um, that was great. Really, really good game, and I think I managed to get some good stuff. I, th I think, I mean, we'll see. I think I've got the, most of the moments where the goals went in, um, but no idea whether it's going to come out or not. It's the beauty of film, so uh, now heading back to the car, I'm going to drop the rolls of film, I think, in on Monday morning, so obviously. It's a Saturday today, and uh, if I try and post it today, I think they're gonna get there too late, and I'd quite like them to have the rolls by Monday so they can turn it around as quick as possible. So, I'm gonna drop them to Analog Wonderland, but now comes the drive home, um, and heading back down the M6. And I haven't got a parking ticket, good news. 